I mean, like appreciate like teachers. Or, mm. started back training for my alternative route program um, like I told you guys in the last vlog we start a week before I start training with the district and then literally we're about to get ready for the school year guys like it's like right there um, it's so crazy I finished planning but well I'm actually still have to adding to it but I finished my planning for the first month of school I think I'm gonna share it with you guys because I know I've been looking crazy for you know beginning of the school year content as a new first year teacher and i just feel like you know i want to share it because i'm like if i'm looking for it other people are looking for it i stopped at mcdonald's i'm running a little well, i feel like i'm always i got eight minutes so i think i should get there on time my thing is a little shaky i don't know why i think because it was like the sticking was tripping but yeah so i stopped at mcdonald's because if i'm gonna be late i don't want to be late and hungry and we've literally been here all day we've been here from eight to four we've been doing a lot of like um learning about pyfe now i don't know if it's the same across the country but pyfe is basically where you learn about parent and family engagement as a teacher um i know in california we use class dojo we're going to use that here i think that may be a platform that um teachers use across the country and it's just a way for you to communicate with your um, with the parents and families of your student so we've been doing a lot of training on that We've been also doing a lot of training on social emotional learning, which I love because I feel like when I was in school, we didn't learn a lot about the whole student. It was more so like come to school, do this work, go home, or at least that was my perspective. Whereas now we're learning about like self-awareness, self-management, regulating emotions, you know, making sure that we are aware of our own emotions, how we're gonna help our students with theirs. Um, so it's been very 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 helpful it has been long days but very informative days so yeah we've been working on that and then just working on like i was saying building our lesson plans for the first 20 to 30 days and making sure that not only are we doing curriculum stuff but cultural things and making sure that we're mindful and aware of you know that everyone doesn't have the same background that there are some people who are coming from you know just different backgrounds and how we as teachers have to handle that i feel like the more we do these trainings the more i'm learning the more appreciative i am for teachers i feel like that honestly started in covid because that's when tamir my oldest if you're new here i have three boys my oldest tamir during covid he was he wasn't even in he was in champs program which was like tk and because he has an IEP for his speech, we had to like try to do speech on the computer during COVID and class. And it really made me like appreciate like teachers then. I'm like, oh my God, like it's a lot. But also doing this program, learning like the behind the scenes, all the preparation and planning, my God. I, I'm like, oh my God, like the fact that people do the, and like, it's like one teacher to like, for my, and my class is gonna be up to 20 students. But there are some, like the charter school that we taught at over the summer, they have up to 30 kids in their class. That's a lot of personalities. That's a lot, it's just a lot that you have to balance. So I truly, if nothing else, if you're already a teacher or becoming a teacher, kudos to you. I truly appreciate, like it just makes me think about my son's teachers that he's had and he's going into second grade. And I'm just like, I truly appreciate teachers. Like teachers don't get enough credit for literally what they do i feel like people just look and think like oh it's like child care or whatever but it's like you're literally building humans like you're shaping minds but i'm not gonna rant i'm gonna take you guys along with me hopefully i remember to record or i'm able to record as much as possible um uh, we don't have any students right now so as far as like that's concerned because i'm not able to record students of course but um yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along with me so come on
important that we don't give up in first grade? First, we, we are, are first graders. graders. We are strong. We, we are, are strong. strong. We are It is lunch time. Um, so I did show you guys a little bit of our rehearsal. Like I said, we were prepping for the first day of school. Now, teaching first grade, you realize how you have to literally teach every little like minute thing because you can't go in with the assumption that the students, like I think I was telling you guys earlier, excuse me, you can't go in with the assumption that students know the procedure and even if they do know the procedure it's been summer and the teacher before you may have done it differently so you literally have to plan prepare and plan for everything so we did the rehearsal for that um i originally wanted something healthier like i had wanted panera i was gonna give me a little soup and salad but when i was doing doordash it um the salad I want, it wouldn't give me the option. So I was like, okay, I'll drive to it, but we only have a 30 minute lunch. So it would've took me 15 minutes to get there and 15 minutes to get back, not including like traffic, getting out the car and all of that. So I went to Wingstop, kind of sad because I'm like, oh my God, this isn't healthy, but you just got, at this point, I just gotta do what it is. Um, I'm like, I was telling them, I'm like, it's a food desert. And one of the girls are like, <laughs> a food desert. And I'm like, yeah, like, when you know like certain areas don't offer healthy alternatives or healthy options that's called a food desert so anyways i got um hold on amazon so yeah i got my lunch i'm gonna eat wing stop i really you know what tell me if y'all some wing lovers um i got lemon pepper fire but they didn't give me the option for all flats and i remember back like maybe a year or two ago they had the option of all flats maybe they just took that away i kind of should start eating now so i won't be like eating in class but then again like they ranch is kind of drippy that's the oh that's the best part and i don't want to have ranch all over me because i have a white t-shirt on hmm nevertheless it's lunchtime Cast a silver oh, shimmer on the way so wild and free. Our hearts beat in perfect rhythm, lost in jazz by the sea. La, la, la. Happy Friday, guys. So I will <laughs> hold on. Happy Friday. I was supposed to finish vlogging yesterday, but I I left my camera at home one. And then two, I was too busy running my mouth talking to my dad that I didn't even pick up the camera after I think the last thing I recorded was going to Hobby Lobby. So what I plan, okay, so I have went to Hobby Lobby in the last vlog, right? And they had a lot of cute things. And since I switched my theme, which I think we talked about. So originally my class theme was centered around um, being a plant and like, um, like a modern, boho right 
and it was supposed to go like you know because my house is boho so my house is boho so it was supposed to be like a land. i hope you guys you guys should be able to hear me um so yeah that was my original thing um, I was on Etsy and I was just looking around for like first day slides and bulletin board quote ideas and things like that. So I stumbled upon growth mindset um, like theme, right? Now it was missing a couple of elements, but it was like less than $15. And I was like, okay, this is kind of cute. It had more color. It, was just, it just seemed more inviting to me. And I liked the overall message because I'm very big on mental health, very big on social emotional learning, which like I was telling you guys yesterday, that's what we've been learning a lot about. Oh, and then by the way, your girl dyed her hair. I'm sure you guys can see, but anyways, so so I found that theme and I was like, okay, this is perfect. So I sent the the rug that I had originally bought from Shein, I sent that back as well as the lanterns. And then I took the stuff back that I had bought from Hobby Lobby thinking I was gonna go in there and then find like, you know, just some cute stuff that was like on color theme, but not so much the theme itself, but like colors, right? I didn't find anything. So I did keep, as you guys can see back there, I did keep um, one of the Wellington boards that I, um, like the paper, uh, it looks kind of like burlap or slurp, I think it's called burlap or whatever. Um, for my for one of my bulletin boards and then I figured I would save money by using uh, like the contact paper from the school or whatever that paper you know the paper rolls that they have at the school um, and then I'm so mad because I found the most adorable rug on Facebook marketplace but I feel like the ladies being super unrealistic like it's marked for like hundred and twenty dollars and it's eight by ten it's a pottery barn rug fits my theme aesthetic and everything but I'm just like I don't want to pay a hundred dollars for a rug like for a school rug that I know kids may tear up and then another person was like you know sometimes they have accidents on their own rugs and I don't know I just feel like I don't want to pay a hundred dollars for it so I, act, I offered her 60 and she was like she can't take under a hundred so I was like thank you but now I'm like maybe I should offer her 80 and we can like meet in the middle I can be like okay I can do 80 and see what she says because I was like last night I was like you know how you can like Google search images and you know stuff like and you can even like take a picture of the um like a, an object and put it in Amazon well I did that I can't find anything like that one and it bothers me because I'm the kind of person that like once I have my heart set on something I want it <laughs> so yeah let's just say and then Teori was like if you guys are new that's my husband he was like i think you're just being cheap pump your brakes buddy i don't think i'm being cheap it's just like i just feel like that's overpriced and i feel like 80 is like the limit see because i was thinking if i say 60 she would come back and say how about 80 and then i'd be like deal but then she came back with like 100 and i'm like so i'm gonna go back today and be like okay so i slept on it does 80 work can we you know and i'll send you a picture of my classroom because also in the like description she was like oh it's really really good quality like i had it in my kids nursery but my kids are teenagers now ma'am you've had this room for over five years if not longer yes you've taken good care of it but you've had it for so long it's like it's not gonna hurt you to let it go at a lesser price you know what i mean so maybe i'm unrealistic <laughs> I guess we'll see by the end of the vlog if I end up getting my rug, okay? But anyway, so now I'm on my way to the last day of training, which honestly and truthfully, so we had like these list of tasks that we had to meet in order to not have to come today for Friday. I missed it by nine points. Like I was telling you guys, we were working on our like cultural objectives and cultural plans as well as parent and family engagement information for back for when school starts for the first month of school and she was like your your objectives don't align with the standard nevertheless hopefully i'll be out before mm, nine o'clock maybe that's a little too optimistic maybe like 10 o'clock it's we got to be there at eight 
and it's 7:45, and i don't know what time i'm going to be there because i didn't put it in my gps but anyways i'm done rambling i'll see you guys at the school <laughs> all right so i had to stop at starbucks and at home i normally buy the matcha from target and i make my own oh i could have went that way um so at target i buy my own matcha right and i make my own brown sugar matcha so i asked them if they can make it and they say yeah so i got a brown sugar matcha perfecto and i gotta spin it dry okay so i just took a sip and i just have to come and tell y'all this is fire oh my god like i normally get the i get a couple different different things from uh starbucks i either get a matcha frap um a mango green tea lemonade chai latte with pumpkin spice on top uh during that season and and or my like go-to is like the white mocha with a uh, breakfast sandwich this Ooh, bless the Lord. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I don't even want to drink it all. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, I may have. Oh, now if y'all already get this, don't judge me. But oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Oh, these be piping hot. Ooh. Okay. Well about eight minutes look at this smoke oh my god mm. that is definitely a 10 out of 10 oh my god mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> five below i really went in looking for um you know just things from my classroom i'll show you what i got real quick so um i got this little food storage set because i feel like i plan on eating more on campus i know like generally we only have like a 30 minute break so i needed one and i feel like for five dollars 42 pieces that's not bad I can't beat that excuse me and then i got these little bins these are actually from my at home closet because we needed them And then, oh, excuse me. I got this planner for myself. Um, it's not specifically for teachers, but it's for the July through new through next year. So I figured I can utilize it for planning. Um, Cause of course I plan digitally. I don't have like a iPad, but just for planning. Um, and then I bought this bed canopy which I plan to use over my common corner area, which I'm really, really excited about that. This color um, kind of goes with my, my theme, so it works. And then I got a um, these wireless little lights. Um, so what I like about these is I plan on using these on my board as a way to communicate a uh, voice level. So one would be for voice level zero, uh, voice level one, and then voice level two. So whichever one's on, that's the voice level that should be in the classroom. And then lastly, I got this, oh wait, no. Then I got a, like a, the self name tags because I was gonna have them on the desk, but if they fall and flap and all that, so I'll just give them one of these and they can put it on there. As I'm doing attendance, have them come up or walk around and give them one of these to put on there shirts i do plan on actually having one for their desk too but this will help me especially like during lunch dismissal and stuff of that nature because you know everybody start blending in okay and then lastly i got me a clear desk because when i'm not in my office and when say like i'm in the room or on the couch or something i generally use a pillow to prop it up prop up my laptop so i figured that would be beneficial so yeah those are the things i got 
I'm waiting for this lady to write me back about the rug. Like I told you guys earlier, she wanted 100 for it. And I still can't get it out of my system. So I wrote her and I was like, would you do 80? So we'll see what she says. If she says she can't do 80, I'm not doing 100. So she better get it together. Dang, I don't have another straw. I used my straw earlier. But anyways, yeah, so we're about to go home, head home. It's almost 12 o'clock. See the kiddos. I know they're going to be excited. I kind of want to go swimming. We haven't went swimming in a while, but I know that since my hair is red, my hair may bleed. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, we're going to head home. I don't think I have anything else to do. I think that's it. Yeah, just relax. And then maybe go swimming. Maybe. talking about getting this rug for like two three days and we just picked it up ah! it looks it's gonna look perfect in my classroom i cannot wait i'm gonna show you guys like take you guys decorating with me and everything so excited um but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here i'll see you guys in the next one peace